Welcome guys, um, this is going to be a little demo of how you can modify your code and what code I have here is actually generated from my find image position wizard, uh, which is great. Uh, I need to click on some checkboxes and I use the code to quickly generate some right clicking code, but it's only for one checkbox. And what I need to do is actually click on 33 of these guys. I have to go from number 2 to 34. Um, if you were looking at the list inside here. And w so w how am I going to do that, right? I am going to do that. This is what this is demo is all about. I am going to use that with script control. I am going to get there very quickly with the repeat function because I have to repeat the same step of moving the mouse and then right clicking 33 times. So let me show you how this works. The repeat uh, is a loop construct and we're going to go to the command reference if you had no idea how this worked. That's how I learned how it worked. I will display our command reference and it explains exactly how the command works. So if you read here, you would find out, and I'm going to explain it from the example, that you need a few things, right? Let's start with the counter. You need something called the counter to actually let the, the macro know, okay, how do you start? Because that's how the repeat function works. So in this case, our counter is k, and we get assign 0 to k to start out at position 0, or the starting point is 0. And you use that counter in the repeat right here. You say, uh, you then say repeat k until, very natural language, right? You repeat k, the counter, until it's equal to what? The in this case, it's the count of file names. Okay that makes sense. So I'm going to repeat it until I get to the to the, the value of the file names uh, whatever they were counted at. So how do you get there? Well, inside the loop itself, this next line, it increments k. It says, okay, you started at k equals 0, but every time you repeat it, I want you to add 1 to k. You must add 1 to k. So k gets assigned whatever k was at this given time when we started the loop plus one. So if it was zero, this first line, k is equal to one, and then you're going to take some action inside the loop using k in there. All right, so let's build that out too so we can see it in our code. As I have to loop through all my checkboxes, I'm going to use k as well from this example. I'm going to have to loop through all those checkboxes. So now I have a repeat in here. The next thing I'm going to do to make this quick is I'm going to go to the last part of my code and hit enter. So the until goes right there. Next, let's go to the until condition. Let's fix that out. So until, I want to use, uh, again, the same limiter. I'm going to use the number found. I'm going to limit k to the number found. So I'm going to say once k is greater than or equal to the number found, I'm just going to stop. So that's pretty easy. And I also want to say, hey, I want you to do the incrementer before I forget, so I'm going to add 1 to k each time so that I move through the next and next, 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 one one at a time, checkbox, one at a time. So I have my incrementer right there. And what uh, the final step here is I have to assign something to k, right, our starting point. So start at 1, let k get assigned 1. So we're going to start with k is equal to 1 because I want to actually skip this first checkbox. I actually want that one to be blank. Alright, now I'm going to insert my breakpoint and step through this one at a time so we can see it in action. Okay, let's do this. Uh, running the script, I should get all my variables and set up. So the number of founders is 36. So the next step is k is assigned to 1, so let me f8 one at a time going through here. So now the mouse should move to the first position, which is number 2 over there. So f8, boom, it's at number 2. It's going to do a right click. Then it's going to add 1 to k, so my k bubbles up to the top here. k is now 2. f8 until you saw that the until hit, but k is not equal to the number found, which is 36, or greater than, so it repeats it. Moves to the second one, which is number 3, adds 1 to k, repeats it. 
moves to the fourth one because now I'm k is equal to, uh, to three. So it's going to move to the fourth one, right clicks, adds one to k, repeats. And you keep on going. Yeah, move to the next, add one, repeat. Now, I'm going to stop it right here and show you something interesting. I think it's interesting. In instead of doing one, let's say we were incrementing k five at a time so that it does five. Mm -hmm. um, I'll just run the code again so we can see that in action. So I'm going to actually use that method of the incrementer to control the script's action if I needed to skip five at a time, let's say. So it does the first one, which is number six, F8, adds five to K. Now K is equal to six. So what is K going to click on next? Should be the one at space 11, uh, 12, I believe. Oh, 11. Okay. Bad math. See that? Now it's going to move to the next one, which is what, 16? Yep right click adds 5 and now K is 16 so it's going to move to 21 clicks so on and so forth so now I'm, I'm skipping so I'm doing 5 at a time and this is the final it should say so now K is equal to 31 that's great that should be our last guy it's going to click on that guy adds 5 to K and now K is 36, so it should stop right there. That's our stop, right? It didn't go over, and that's what's important. You want to make it so it doesn't go over. All right. Now, the final thing I want to do is show you that I have set up my starting point correctly, but this code for my case isn't complete because I want to skip doing these last two, right? So what I want to do is end at uh, 34 by subtracting subtracting two off of the uh, stop value off the stop value which is number found right okay just gonna put that there so I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna stop at 34 by subtracting two off the number found it's a quick and easy way to uh, manage this guy. So now I'm going to run the whole thing just so you can see the code in action. So number found 24 in this case. Well, I don't have all 36 all clear, so it's hard to see that happening, but I'm just going to run the whole script. Oh, <laughs> oops, forgot to change this guy from 5 to 1, but the great news is that uh, we were safe even though. Um, with this greater than or equal to construct of k once it's incremented 5 and it skips 5 at the last one so 32 plus 5 would have been 37 or something like that um, it will stop but if I just had a, a straight equal to here I would have gotten an error for sure so I changed my incrementer back to 1 because I'm doing one checkbox at a time I'm gonna hit save run this guy again and run it once more so we see it in action boom so that's exactly what I wanted to do nice quick and efficient I'm gonna exit out open up a clean uh, screen for myself again you can see it in action one more time but that's basically the code so I'm gonna take out the breakpoint we don't want that anymore um, what I had to do is uh, let's review recap a little bit just have a starting point. So I'm using the repeat construct. I needed a counter k. I needed to set a starting point and because I'm controlling this guy and want to skip the first position I'm going to set it to start at 1. I wanted to set a ending point and to do that I used the limiter that comes right from our image find image position which is great. So I'm using everything basically coming from our find image position. I'm using the number found to limit the repeat to only the number f uh, the number of checkboxes found on screen, which is brilliant. What a great design, right? And then and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract two for it to skip the last two guys. So I have all my middle pieces done, and I go right into my k uh, uh, my repeat construct. I use k as the, the counter. I repeat it, moving doing a mouse move to the x and y array of the list of checkboxes found by the find image position 
do a right click, increment K, and then repeat. Which is great because otherwise I would have had to copy and paste this code like I showed in the first uh, piece of this video. How many times? Well, 33 times and manually changing this every time. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way down brrr, until I got to the end of, um, you know, the last checkbox that I wanted to click. So this is a much cleaner construct. It was re really easy. I only added a few pieces of code here. They're re really, the repeat is just one, two, three lines plus changing this guy to the K uh, counter so that it is it, modified every time. Okay? So the script is done and if I were to run it, it would go something like this. Bam. You know, maybe that wait one second is a little too much in the beginning, but it's cool. You know, I don't mind waiting that one second, making sure that everything is found on screen and it, it gets clicked. And uh, that's that. I hope you enjoy this. I hope it made sense showing the repeat function, uh, how it works, and where the variables come in. I always, in the action step, I always explicitly say use a variable but it should work with just K probably but by uh, showing the percent signs here. Um, but for the add or the repeat until it, it usually isn't necessary to have the percent sign. It knows that you're going to work with a variable. I mean, that's exactly what those uh, commands are designed for. All right. That's it. Now get to doing some looping, guys.